Hey guys, what's happening? So, had a few uh, burglaries in the last year or so. Had some Amazon packages ripped off off my uh, porch, and also my truck had broken, got broken into a couple times. Stole a bag and beer thing. So, decided to get the cheapest DVR system I could find on Amazon, and uh, this is it. It was less than 100 bucks, $89. Doesn't include a hard drive, but I'm an IT guy, so I have tons of hard drives laying around. They've done actually lots of server upgrades where I've actually taken out the old, uh, like, you know, the old hard drives, the uh, magnetic hard drives, and put in uh, solid state drives. But uh, yeah, so this was a, a four camera system. Zosi is the brand, and these are, uh, I, I specifically wanted IP cameras uh, because actually I have a lot of uh, Cat 6, Cat 5 cable around to run. So, uh, but yeah, the old BNC stuff is sort of like the older technology. Everything's moving towards IP cameras. So, and on an IP camera system, the DVR is actually considered an NVR, network video recorder. So I've actually set up a few of these for offices. Not this brand, but, you know, Ambiquity and a couple other brands. But uh, this is definitely the cheapest brand I've seen so far. So, includes all the wires. I'm not going to use these wires because I'm actually going to run my own wires. Um, it's interesting that it came with a connector though. So maybe I might use these wires, we'll see. Probably I'm just cutting those off and using them. Alright. This I guess is the DVR. And I'm not sure what this is. So. I'm also going to be connecting this to my, uh, I'm going to be running an HDMI cable from the, uh, the NVR to the NVR to my uh, internal uh, bedroom TV. So in case I hear like some kind of noise at nighttime, I'll just turn my TV on or change the input, and I'll be able to see what's what's, what's going on outside. So before I install the cameras, I want to make sure this thing works. Yeah, I, mean, I don't expect a lot for 89 bucks. Right, HD, PoE, NVR. All right, let's see what we get. So obviously, I'm going to have to install a hard drive, and I have a 2 terabyte Western Digital black hard drive I'm going to put in there. But, uh, all right. Take a look. So we have uh, 8 port PoE. So I got four cameras, but I can expand to another four cameras I want to do. Um, internal LAN connector, VGA, HDMI, audio in, audio out. I can't have to get smashed or. Alright, let's take this, let's this up and see what's inside. Curious to, I'm mean, obviously it's probably gonna be a Linux-based system just because it's, and they're not gonna pay for a Windows license. This cheap. All right. Let's see what's in this thing. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. So this is the DVR. This is obviously the PoE network switch right here. That daughter card right there. You can see this in the frame. So that's a daughter card, and this is the actual processing unit. The the computer. Serial ATA. Serial ATA power. Um, I'm looking. I'm trying to look at the chips. Obviously, I can't see the main processor chip, but I'm guessing this is going to be like a, like some sort of like a wrist processor, or arm. Excuse me, arm processor. Uh, that looks like it could be the RAM right there. Can't see. Battery backup. That's always here for the clock. Um, all right. Well, uh, let me go my hard drive. I'll be back. I'm gonna go. And like I said, I'm going to be using a uh, Western Digital Black Drive. I do actually, the purple drive is the drive you normally should use. It's designed for doing a lot of writing. Whereas this is kind of designed to do read and writing. Uh, 64 mega cache, 2 terabyte. Had this for a while. Probably about a year and a half, two years. Um, I'm going to mouse. I'm looking for is a screw pack. Okay, obviously AC adapter. 
Uh, HDMI cable. And a network cable. Okay, so I'm looking for the hard drive screw pad. If there is one. Uh, that looks like it's it. Some sort of... install way back. So it looks like you could uh, mount a few different types of hard drives in here, I can't tell for sure, but I mean obviously this is gonna go here. I don't think this is big enough to hold two hard drives. There's only one power cable. Or there's actually there's only one SATA cable so it can only hold one drive. Alright. Be back. Alright so I got the hard drive installed. Let's plug in the power. And I actually have the VGA connected to one of my test monitors right here. Uh, I think it's that one right there. That's HDMI DVI. Okay, that one is the center one. All right. Um, all right. Let's see if there's a new video. There it goes. Oh, let's see. There it is. Sorry, my little light's in the way. That's why I put on my 3D printer sometimes. All right. Let's take a look. So right now there's no mouse connected to it. Um, Alright, yeah, I wanted to make sure this worked before I uh, got it going. Alright, so the initial setup is just to ask you for a new password. Uh, enter. Yeah, I can't stand this mouse thing. But when I when I connect to this thing, it's going to be pretty much remotely. Alright, so uh, the hard disk needs to be formatted. You can see that. Okay. Yes, you can format. Read, write, formatting. Alright. Alright, so now that the hard drive is formatted, it's going to bring it to this screen, and, uh, and now we need to get some cameras connected and see if uh, all the cameras work. Yeah, the cool thing is these cameras, if I want to buy more, they're super cheap. I think they're like under 20 bucks a camera. So, like I said, this thing can do eight cameras. Um, and the other thing, too, I, it's, you know, I've actually I've done lots of installations of camera systems, and these cheaper camera systems, they don't like to be like they want the camera connected behind the MVR they actually work way, way more reliable um, sometimes if you connect them directly to a PoE switch they can't communicate with the with the MVR so it all depends on the actual brand and how expensive it is so, all right. so that's the camera, it has IR and it's PoE in case you didn't have PoE you should have external power too right. yeah it's kinda weird how they pre-terminated this uh, connector on there and also, look at the cable. It's not even like Cat5 or Cat6. There, well, obviously, there's nothing on the jacket, so there's no name on it. But look how it's terminated. I'm actually a cabling contractor, so I do this all day long. Um, there's only two pair in there. You know, the, the transmit and receive pair, the, the orange and the green. Uh, that's some surprise how they're getting PoE over this thing. Like, normally PoE sent over the blue pair and the uh, brown pair. Depending what standard PoE standard you're running. Like for IP phones and stuff. But... Um, all right, yeah. Obviously, I don't, I don't want to use this cable, but um, all right. So I'm gonna have to cut these off actually because I want to reuse them, but with my cable. All right. All right. So I have all four cameras wired in, and let's see here. So they're all powering on. Looks like nothing's come up on the screen yet. So um, all right. I guess we'll just wait. Hopefully, it'll auto detect and auto discover the cameras. Alright, I'm going to get this thing connected to my internal network real fast. So the cameras are actually going to be behind the DVR. And then I'm going to run a network cable from here to my internal network, which is right here. And that goes up to my uh, my Cisco switch over there. The DVR will actually end up being in the, in the network rack right there. Uh, okay. Uh, and that's a 48 port Cisco. Uh, 3560 gigabit PoE switch. Let's see. Alright. Okay. Alright, so finally saw the cameras. So I'm going to do an auto add, but look at that random subnet. I don't know where they even actually, where that subnet's even coming from. It's not coming from my network, but it must be coming to the, from their internal uh, DHB server here. So, I don't know. I guess I'll do a quick auto add. Just get this thing up and running. I guess you can't do four at a time. Auto add. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. 
All right, cool. Got some some camera action here. All right, cool. All right, I gave it a network uh, address here and connected to my network, and let's see if the thing works. So I have it as 192.168.2.15, which is my home network. Let's see if I can ping it here. Okay, then we'll try to see if we can get it into a web interface here. All right, guys, there it is. Installed. All right, and then I have the PC client running my machine right here, so it's kind of headless. I don't have a monitor connected to it, so it's just all IP based on my computers. So awesome, cool. I mean, it was less than 100 bucks, so don't expect a lot, but it looks pretty good so far. All right.